Israel's Shin Bet security agency is today revealing a cyber campaign carried out by Iranian officials against Israeli citizens known as a phishing campaign. It mainly targets civil servants and researchers from various research institutes in order to gather information. The Iranians made fake profiles posing as real Israeli citizens. So for more insight, we welcome cyber analyst Dr. Tal Pavel, director and founder of the Institute for Cyber Policy Studies, joining us from Modi Inn. Thank you so much for your time. So this isn't TikTok or Snapchat popular with young cyber users. It's LinkedIn used by professionals. So how exactly does it work? Impersonators inviting users to a conference or a relevant article? Tell us more. Well, definitely, and that's what is called uh, phishing, or as a matter of fact, spear phishing, which is uh, a very uh, dedicated and sophisticated form of what we know as social engineering, which means here the essence is not to find a vulnerability, a flow in the uh, um, computerized system of the victim, but to file a psychological flow at the victim, at the operator, at the end user, um, to lure him, her, to uh, cooperate, which means it may be to provide username and password to the um, organizational network or um, um, any other account, social network account, or to cooperate, as mentioned here in this case, and cooperate, which means um, not only to provide username and, and, and password or credit details, as, as we know from previous cases, or even daily cases, but here to provide uh, a, a desired information, in this case allegedly by Iran, which means uh, to ask <clears throat> very cleverly to offer the victim with report um, or um, invitation to a conference that will lure the victim into provide information as desired, as needed, um, and it may really relate to current situation in Israel. Right. Um, yeah. Personal information as well, no doubt, if people drop their defenses, so to speak. So to that point, how vigilant do people need to be? It is a professional side. What kind of steps should be in place to make sure one's personal information isn't given out to people with ill intent, so to speak? Well, since uh, uh, phishing, spear phishing is not based on uh, technology or technological flows or vulnerability, but uh, psychological vulnerabilities and the uh, uh, ability to manipulate us, the end user. So the best way will not be um, to um, put our, our efforts on uh, technological means like uh, uh, antivirus and firewall, but to educate the end users, uh, our employees and co-workers to the uh, 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 dangers and disadvantages of uh, such activities right. known as spear phishing, to raise their awareness, to create uh, 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 campaigns, to raise uh, uh, the awareness and knowledge and education against such uh, uh, campaigns and activities. 